If you have an e-commerce site and you're still manually adding content, you know how frustrating and time consuming that is. Well, I've got a client that said, I need a better system. And so using make.com and AI, I have created a make scenario that scrapes the product page of the product they want to bring into their website. It extracts all the information and it creates a description in the format and the brand voice that they want that is then output to a CSV file so they can just upload it and be done with it. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Let me do a quick overview of what we have going on here. If you're not familiar with make.com, what make does is it puts all the different steps that you would need to do manually and it attaches them and does them automatically. So everything I'm doing, you can do manually, but why if you don't have to? So let's start with Airtable. In Airtable, all I'm doing is putting a URL of the product that we want to scrape and bring into the web website. From there, we need another module that's going to actually convert that or pull the HTML from that page, that usable content. There's also a lot of junk in that content. That's what this parser is going to do. It's going to parse the content and strip out a lot of the HTML coding that we don't need. From there, I need to identify all the different pieces. So for me, I want to know what the brand or not the brand of the shoe. I want to know what the name of the shoe, the SKU is. I want to know what color it comes in with sizes, descriptions, all the information that we need in order to make a good product page on our WooCommerce. And then I need to format that information in a way that we can identify. So it's great that I've got all this content, but I need to identify the SKU is this. The colors available are this. And that's what JSON does. And if JSON sounds scary, all this was created without any programming knowledge. I just used AI to help me through this process. The next thing I did is I got that information. I updated the Airtable with it. And then I went to the actual, I created an assistant in chat GTP. And this is going to create our description and it's gonna be formatted in the way that the brand wants it, in the voice of the brand, and ChatGTP outputs into Markdown format, and so we have to convert that into HTML, and then I output everything into Google Sheet. Let's start at the beginning. I have in an Airtable, I've got this Airtable I call the shoe scraper. I've got a URL in there, and I'm just gonna run this once, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna go and start going through the process. And what it's doing is it's grabbing this information, this URL, and this is the actual URL that it's pulling. This is for the stability X strap. So this is important information. I also wanna know what the price of the shoe is. I wanna know the description that the manufacturer has given the shoe. I also wanna know the SKU, the gender. I wanna know colors, sizes, width. All this information is available on the page and normally we would have to manually input all of this. Um, manually, which is not fun. And that's essentially what this is automatically doing is it is pulling all this information. And if we go into our chat GTP assistant, as an example, let's just take a look at our input here. And you can see that it has already pulled all this information. So here's the HTTP is the content. The parser strips the content. It passes the following information stripped information into chat GTP. So we have all of this wonderful content just sitting here. And what this first module is doing is it's identifying all the different pieces. So again, remember, if we go back to the page, I wanted color sizes. So now what we're doing is we're identifying, oh, here are the different colors available, sizes. Here's the different sizes available, uh, gender, SKU, description, all that information. It's starting to identify that and it's putting it into uh, a database, if you will, we're, we're going to be using JSON here. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Um, let's go into this one. And if we go to our output, you can see we're in output right here. Let me expand this. And what it's doing is it's grabbing all the different information. So you can see it's identified the shoe name as the Stability X. Here's the product description. It's identified the SKU, the gender, the benefits. 
Let's take a look at colors. It's got black, light, uh, light gray, navy, etc. We have all the sizes. It's automatically pulling all this information. It's got the uh, pricing. I even have it pulling images uh, from the site. So this is all being done automatically. And you can see it's actually way over here. It shows that it's already done with the process. So once, it, once it's gone through and it's parsed all the information, it's identified all the information that I wanted, ChatGTP did that for me, it is then going to update all this here so that I now have a database, if I wanna keep it, that is, that is constructed in the way that's beneficial and helpful for me. This is not updatable or not uploadable to WooCommerce right now, but we're gonna get there because I need to, based on all this information, I want to create a product description. So now we're gonna send this important information to a chatbot or an assistant. And in the playground, you have assistants, and I've got this one called the DTF New Shoe Description. And this is a chatbot that is going through and I'm giving it tone and voice, as you can see. I'm giving it all the criteria and information that I want in order to create structure for the description that we're looking for. Once it does that, it goes through there. Then we're pretty much done. It's going to, going to go ahead, output from chat GTP. It's going to output that description, which is the final piece. Because over here, I just have all the product information, but I don't have my product description that fits my brand voice. I'm going to output that to Google Sheets. Now you could output to Airtables, and in fact, you could use Google Sheets all the way through this process. Um, I'm just testing different things, so I'm mixing and matching in this case. And here we are on uh, our Google Sheets. Now, you'll notice there's a lot of blank fields, and that is because what I did is I exported our database, our current database, out of uh, WooCommerce, and that database has the menu structure at the top. That's all I wanted. I deleted all the information, but I wanted the menu structure. And then I've plugged in all the different information. So you can see I've got the SKU, I've got the name of the shoe. If we go over here, this is the actual description and it outputs in HTML, which WooCommerce understands. And this is all done in a format that is consistent for this website so that when people are bouncing around the website looking at different shoes they're going to go geez there's consistency here it's not a weird description from one brand of shoe to a different description style formatting to a different brand of shoe so all this gets exported and then all i need to do is and again, I just did one, but you could do 10, 20, 30, whatever you want. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to download to a uh, CSV file. And now this has been downloaded to CSV, you go on the WooCommerce and upload it. And it's just that easy. This is my scraper that I've created. Uh, it is a great tool. If this is something you're interested in, I do have a group that meets every two weeks and we are chatting about how to use make.com, how to use AI to simplify our lives so that we can focus more on what we need to do and that is growing the business instead of working in the business let's grow the business work on the business and a lot of this tools and systems uh, are just going to make our lives a heck of a lot easier so uh, if you got any questions feel free to leave a comment below if you would like to see the complete build out for this uh, let me know in the comments below or if there's something else you're interested in I would love to hear your input. Until next time, take care.